Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Sorry, kind of something caught in my throat there apparently. But uh, let's start off today with just a little bit of uh, relaxation here. I like to do this in the past, especially with one of my previous projects. Mm. I made a cozy for this. <laughs> That was nice. I actually also have a singing bowl. I need to make a, like a knitted uh, cozy for that as well. You know, it's almost a little bit silly to make one since they're made of metal and all. And, you know, don't really... aren't breakable. Don't aren't breakable. There's some sentencing. But yeah. So, anywho. <laughs> Oh goodness, as I try to fix something on screen here. Anywho, dragon making. So uh, we've got this uh, gorgeous uh, purple and pink dragon here that we're working on. Oh, look at those stripes, that just looks amazing. So it's unfortunately been a little while, but uh, we're going to uh, be working on the head today, and uh, the t or the feet as well. Hopefully finishing her. And uh, watching uh, with us today is uh, Ingrid and Freya, one of or my two-headed dragon. One of my unusual dragons. I like to make unusual dragons too. I've also made a two-tailed dragon, a snake dragon, a spider dragon with eight eyes and eight legs. And whoop, there was a six-legged uh, dragon, Skitters. <laughs> Skitters. Oh, I love playing unusual dragons. Anywho, let's just adjust the camera just a hair. Oh, other way. Since uh, while I'm chain mailing, I tend to get you know lean this away and so forth, because you know the work surface is here. It'd be nice if I had like a different work surface, but uh, you work with what you got, type of deal. But I do apologize if you hear any uh, noise outside. I uh, you know there's other people living in the house, and also it's gonna happen. <laughs> Oh goodness, what am I doing? Oh, right, well, I guess that. Although my little work holder can uh, stay attached to this part of the dragon. Sorry, for some reason my mind was on, uh, well, let's attach the head to the dragon. No, 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 we're not quite done the head yet here. Um, uh, we've got uh, alien mail we've made so far. Oh goodness, that is difficult to see with the lighting. I wish I had better lighting too, but uh, yeah, so we've got an alien mail weave here. Let me see if I can show you alien mail on uh, Ingrid over here. So yeah, we've got that type of thing going on, but with uh, black rings. You know, someone had uh, ordered or asked for a uh, black dragon, a pair of black dragons actually. So after this one, we're going to be making, instead of pink and purple stripe, it's going to be, uh, they wanted specifically flamingo pattern. So I'm going to be looking at uh, pictures of flamingo feathers and uh, see what I can do with that. But uh, with this part of the head here, next up, we need to make the mouth ring. Like on Ingrid and Frey here, these two uh, large mouth rings made out of 12 gauge enameled steel. And uh, there's a reason behind why I use enameled steel, aside from it being available. <laughs> but uh, also, uh, like, uh, it's enameled because it's uh, coat hanger wire, which uh, I really like the fact, that, or the fact that I'm repurposing wire for this. But also, uh, the ring shines up over time. Like as you play with your dragon, this ring gets shinier and shinier. So the dragon shines up to you, so to speak. So I like that. Hmm. And there's nothing uh, even close to exact about how I make these uh, mouth rings. It's just you know, I bend them to. Yeah, as around as I can make them to approximately the uh, same size. 
I generally compare them from one dragon to the next. Ooh, that's a little bit big there, so we'll just kind of shrink it down a little. A few different pairs of pliers here to kind of play around with this with. Oh, I guess some uh, kind of a uh, quick updating on my life and such here just because. But, uh, so uh, as you may know, I'm going into uh, healthcare aid, the healthcare aid program at uh, CDI College in my city here. And I finally just finished one of the kind of hurdles that I need to pass to uh, get into the program there, or to take the program. You need to get what's known as a Manitou test, or a uh, TB skin test. So, you know, they uh, basically uh, shove a needle into your arm and, uh, you know, squirt whatever into their tube or so, I think was the uh, word on the paperwork there. I actually have the paperwork over there because, you know, I get to claim half of the... I can prattle on about that part. Anyways, half of that's paid for. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that came out clear, which uh, wasn't a surprise because this was the second test. For some bizarre reason, they need to do two of them. And, yeah, so that's all fine and good, but uh, that's one hurdle out of the way. Don't need to go back and do that anymore, which is good because that was just kind of a mild nuisance. Kind of, okay, now i got to book some time to go over here and sit in a waiting room and it's a walk-in appointment only so I wasn't able to you know make an appointment beforehand and you know arrive at a specific time well it's a doctor's office like they ever actually take you in at the right time <laughs> oh sorry doctors everywhere but when you make an appointment yeah I know I know you're not able to keep the appointments as well either because everyone is different and has their own things going on and some people take longer than others and such. Goodness, how do you doctors even do it? It's like you don't even get breaks. Like, mad props to you. Healing people in without breaks and everything? Ooh. Although, uh, going into healthcare, that's going to have its own things of... I imagine I'm going to be missing a lot of breaks, too. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be very wonderful just uh, being able to help people when they're, you know, specifically in pain and hurt and such. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so unfortunately this one didn't cut uh, quite as nice as I was hoping it would. Uh, you can see by the uh, cut mark right there, hopefully you can see. It's not a very flush cut just because sometimes that happens. So I do have a metal file with me which, uh, prepare for some incoming noise, I do apologize for this. But I kind of, uh, get the file in between, oh goodness, in between that opening there. And we just kind of go, I'll kind of do this off screen a little bit so that it doesn't get metal filings all over my leg. You can go file into the chain link kit just due to lack of a better location at the moment. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> File, file, file. Filing, filing, filing. Filing the metal down. Filing, filing, filing. Refiling the metal down. Filing, filing, filing. Making the metal down. Filing, filing, filing. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, goodness. It is a little bit difficult to grip the ring and foil at the same time. Normally it doesn't cause this many problems, it's just taking up a particular fight today to sit still. So let's try and hold you with a pair of pliers and make an extra loud noisy for everyone. Yay! Exactly what we want. Okay, that looks like it might do it. Now it's kind of, you can see it kind of 
deformed a little bit while we were playing with the file there. So let's just kind of play with this a little bit more and see if we can't get this circular again. Okay, that's a far better closure over there. So, awesome, 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 awesome. I just want to play with this ever so slightly more to get it just ever so slightly more circular. Like I said, I don't have a mandrel or anything to uh, coil these around. This is all just kind of by, by the uh, mouth ring. Which I suppose makes it a lot more personal when you think about it. Okay, there you go. My pink and purple black dragon. You are going to get your mouth ring soon. Mouth ring, mouth ring, let's go put you in. Mouth ring, wow, that's a weird song. <laughs> mouth ring, let's go put you in. <laughs> kind of a fun fact uh, with this dragon. Uh, because with the uh, black and steel rings, you're not, I'm not able to order them in uh, what you may call it, 732 inch, 18 gauge size uh, from uh, the Ring Lord where I get my supplies from. So I uh, actually took a whole lot of quarter inch rings and clipped off just a little, 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 little bit of all of them, like enough to make the head. And uh, just because a uh, 732 inch size makes a really, really nice alien male weave, and quarter inch is too large and it kind of doesn't look right and everything. And there's kind of ways that I've kind of uh, worked around that in the past, but this is the first dragon where I'm going with the idea of clipping the rings and see if that does me a lot better, which I personally think it will. Okay, I should stop messing with this, otherwise it's going to start becoming less and less circular. Although I do want to tweeze you open just a little bit so that I can kind of get a little bit more overlap before I pull the ends apart and then closure it. And that'll just kind of add some extra tension at the butted point there. So it'll just make for uh, essentially a tighter ring closure. Okay, that's uh, fairly decent. There we go. So yay, we have a mouth ring. And that's where you can like, you know, pull the dragon around by that. Or especially when it's in your pocket, it's fun to just kind of slip your finger through the mouth ring and, you know, kind of play with it like that. It's a fun little play toy. It's a pet dragon that's fun to play with. And you can wear them as a bracelet. Yep, this uh, clasp under the uh, back scale here, uh, that uh, basically allows you to weave the tail through the mouth ring. And you pull the tail back and connect it to the clasp, and that turns it into a bracelet. So fun, fun. I love my dragons. <laughs> I can prattle for a while about them, but you probably want to hear singing instead. Maybe. Let me know if you want to hear more dragon stuff. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
like and a subscribe if you're enjoying what you're seeing and hearing and uh, then you'll know when I'm online and uh, yeah, you can follow along for all my musical adventures of dragon making and sometimes other things. Back in the past I did like make this uh, cozy here among other things in live stream. Uh, that up there I didn't do in live stream but the video is available on my YouTube channel. Green Dragon. That one's name is Robin up there. Oh goodness hair get out of my eyes. Okay so we have the mouth ring in. And uh, kind of just uh, the way that I do this, I don't know if you'll be able to see it well, but it kind of adds, uh, oh goodness, in my arm shadow across the uh, work surface there. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Anyways, uh, the two kind of rings that I kind of, oh goodness, you cannot see these <laughs> inside of this light, I apologize. Well, trust me, it kind of gives them a slight nostril uh, look the way that I have the open there, which is more or less exactly what I want, so awesome. Okay, so now we need a chin ring, which is uh, like on Ingrid and Frey here. You can uh, see they kind of have a little uh, crook to their mouth, and that's because our ring underneath here is essentially flipped upside down from the uh, rest of the weave. And uh, I think, would you call it a gridlock weave? I think so. So we do a slight modification there, which we now need to do to this dragon. And then we attach the dragon to the body. And then we begin the dragon naming ceremony. Yay! That's the period where when I'm working on the dragon's eyes, anyone in the chat, and myself included, are able to recommend a name for the dragon. Like, I only say myself included because if there's no one in the chat, I'm not going to leave an unnamed dragon. I try to choose names that aren't ones that I pick, though, if, you know, someone's around. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, during the uh, installation of the eyes, that's when people can... Uh, pick a name for what they think the dragon should be named. And then once the dragon gets her eyes installed, she can see the names and she picks her favorite name. Or he or she. Yeah. Could be either. Oh goodness, ring. Oh goodness, I had a pair of pliers that was better for this specific operation. Actually, this exact pair of pliers that I'm holding right now, but I had to modify them slightly because the tip was getting too weak, just because I chain milled with them so much the groove had worn in the tip, which worked really well for this, but uh, yeah, again, it was getting too weak and just kind of bending out and not gripping the rings anymore. So I had to uh, get rid of that, which means I lost my groove in the tip of the pliers. And now I have to kind of uh, fight with not slightly modified pliers. <laughs> oh, this part right here is always one of the more difficult parts of a dragon. Oh, something's not right with this ring entirely. You out. Out. Okay, that might be why it was putting up a fight as well. I didn't have it on right. Open your eyes, girl. Do it proper. Okay, drop, drop that ring. Drop it. Drop it. Don't you hate it when you're chain mailing and like one ring goes and gets hooked onto another one that you don't want it to and then it refuses to let go? It's like, come on, you're setting me back. Okay, so I'm going to resort to doing this ring the way that I've done some of my previous dragons. Uh, but instead of being hooked onto all four rings and then closing it, I'm going to put it on three rings and then close it and then we will open up the uh, other ring and attach that one onto this one and trust me it makes sense when you're actually looking at it. 
And unfortunately I can't show it all that well because these rings do not show up on that mini camera all that well. Like here, I'll try to show you what I'm uh, doing here with the uh, other type of uh, screen view here. Whoop! Okay, so I've got that going. Is that going to focus at all? Or are you going to have any... Oh wow, that is impossible to see. I am so sorry. These uh, The black rings just make it impossible to show like close-ups of anything. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> Uh, and the next dragon is going to be a black dragon as well, but uh, after that I'm planning on making a silver one. I've got it uh, half finished already, but uh, then, you know, uh, someone asked for these two specifically, so it's like, okay, well, uh, sorry you'll be put off for just a little bit because we have a special order type thing coming in. And come on. Oh, this ring is one of the most difficult ones. There's usually three really, really difficult rings on uh, one of my dragons. Uh, one is the uh, behind the neck ring, like uh, behind the uh, two back scales here attaching the shoulder. So the behind the shoulders uh, ring. The next one is the chin ring right now. And then in a little bit will be the uh, neck ring when I'm attaching the head to the body. So yeah, we have that to look forward to as well. Of those three though, this one is without a doubt the most difficult and frustrating one. Although I've got it partially closed right now, so at least I don't think it will slide off. So let's just go like that. I have to have a pair of extremely, extremely thin tipped pliers. But then you know the pliers wouldn't be strong enough to do anything, so that would just make it all difficult and such. Okay, come on. Come on, you rotate just slightly that way. I said it rotate just slightly. Listen to me, ring. And it rotated the exact opposite direction. Thank you, thank you, chainmail ring. That was exactly what I wanted to happen. Not. I'll get her. We'll get her, don't worry. Whoop! Okay, I think that might have actually gotten it. Closure could be just a hair better. Let's just try and squeeze you laterally. Squeeze you like that. Okay, I think we've got that. So now I need to open up this side ring here. Again, it's difficult to show you. But uh, we need to open up one of the side rings, and then we'll slide that through the ring that we've just been fighting with for five minutes. Five minutes, ten minutes, who knows how long at this point. Okay, mail. It's slow. <laughs> oh, but I do love the slow and meticulous things. <laughs> Okay, and close, please. Don't like suddenly like twist off to the side and make me need to get a new ring going. Woo! There we go. So you can see hopefully from this side profile, uh, the shadow, the tools underneath. <laughs> Okay, so you can see from this side profile, it's kind of got a slight angle to it now, like, uh, 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 how do we do this here? Yeah, something like that. You can see there's an angle to it, which means we got the chin ring in. Woo! Clap, clap. Now let's uh, get all these players off of Ingrid and Freya in our uh, new dragon here. And now we're on the step of it actually attaching the head to the dragon. Awesome! You were only held by work holders before. Now let's actually attach your head to your body, which I'm sure is what you want by this point. Dragons don't like being without their heads. Well, to be fair, most animals don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to try and attach this ring to these two on the body over here. And then we'll see what we can do after that. And we're coming right up to that neck ring that I had mentioned. And uh, right after that neck, neck ring is when we work on the eyes. Huh, I never really kind of thought of it that way. Right after we're done all of the hardest rings on the dragon, that's when we, uh, you know, work on the, or give her eyes. Yeah, you don't have to see the hard part, you just have to survive it. Okay, and speaking of a neck ring, let's just go and pop that in right now. Although I think the previous neck rings on uh, some of my other dragons were probably more difficult than this one will be. Uh, the bodies, bodies of my dragon actually used to be made differently. And I can, oh goodness, again with the blackened rings. The Gingrid and Freya has a uh, what Persian dragon scale view body. And uh, our black dragon here, as well as uh, Midnight and Charlotte, oh, I could maybe show you on Charlotte, have, uh, oh goodness, I need to add this ring to this part yet, have uh, interwoven four in one for a body. I was going to use Persian dragon back, but it turns out with the size of rings that's not actually possible. And interwoven does work so amazingly well with almost an identical uh, kind of, you know, look to it. And really, the only reason that I was planning on using the uh, Persian dragon back is because it had the word dragon in it. <laughs> and that's kind of a silly reason to use a weave when this one works so much better. And yet another type of pliers here. We've got some toothless uh, blunt nose needle nose pliers, which uh, have their own awesome uses and such. You can see that they're blunt tipped and not sharp tipped. Trying to show you on like a part of the cardboard there. Anyway, you get the idea. And we have that neck ring in place, which is awesome. Although this neck ring looks like it could use a their neck, kind of more of the uh, not a sternum type of area maybe. <laughs> that could have used a minor adjustment and it received one. You need another slight one. Perfectionist in me is like, I can feel an ever so slight imperfection in the closure of the ring. That's a bit of a downside of the black and steel rings is uh, like in their blackening process, uh, from what I've been told, they're uh, baked in oil to uh, get them this color and get it to stay this color. And unfortunately, that has a tendency to warp the rings ever so slightly. So that's just kind of an added challenge that I need to work around. Okay, so we've got the top and the bottom of the dragon neck here, which is uh, all kinds of awesome. But I uh, know we need to get the sides of the neck just a little bit better. So I usually like to take this uh, one of the rings from the um, uh, body of the dragon. And I'm going to try and slide that through here. This part tends to be different on most of my dragons, like how I create the neck, so to speak. All my dragons are unique. <laughs> For a few reasons, but uh, just because the neck is an inexact process, that's one of the reasons. Well, this one is extra unique because this is the only uh, black dragon that has 732 inch uh, rings for the head, just because I clipped them all down. And the next one will be the same. I'm kind of thinking that all of my uh, black dragons afterwards will have the exact same process done. It takes me about an extra half hour to clip down all of the rings, but uh, yeah, it just works out so much better for the weave. Okay, and that worked out well, so let's get that exact same thing done on the other side right now. Doop doop a doop 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 Oh goodness! You know I turned my phone on to uh, air 
or airplane mode just so that it wouldn't make sound during the live stream. And what do you know, I go and have a silly alarm set, which makes a noise anyway. I apologize for that. But uh, in the meantime, during set alarm, I did finish uh, this part of the dragon, so whoa! The uh, head is now attached to the body, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Whoa! I know you're almost able to see. So, the dragon naming ceremony, yay! If anyone is watching right now, uh, feel free to post in the chat or send me a whisper if you like of uh, what you think this dragon's name should be. And uh, what uh, name did uh, I want to give you? Or did you want to tell me? You said Charlotte. No, that's the name of my dragon. <laughs> oh, okay, Charlene. Okay, so close, but uh, Charlene is uh, the name that I'm going to be offering this dragon. And we need eyes. So for those, I use uh, five 32-inch stainless steel rings on the black dragons and uh, the exact opposite type of thing for the silver dragons. They get uh, black eyes. Although there we only have three 16-inch rings, so I tend to have to clip those down. I do have enameled copper rings that I've uh, used as well, just on a few rare occasions. But those are unfortunately softer and just... Yeah, they bend way too easily for my likings, especially for a dragon. A dragon's got to be strong. And now we try to find a place to put the eyes in. Try to find a place to put the eyes in. And it's got to be symmetrical from side to side. Oh! Oh, there's an idea. A three-eyed dragon. I've got to write this down. Two seconds. I apologize. Give me two seconds. Sorry, dragon. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I have a, uh, uh, here's my dragon bag. So I got all of my uh, kind of dragon making, you know, to uh, put their name tag on and everything. And I've got uh, not exactly the most professional looking, but it's a, oh wow, that actually turns up backwards on uh, the view. Huh. I'm kind of curious. Let me try to flip that around now. Sorry, give me two secs. Yeah, I know, you are so being delayed. But anyway, okay, let's write this down before I forget here. Where is a pen? No, where is a pen? There's a pen in the bag too, but this one was faster to get to. Dragon of Light. Three-eyed dragon. Oh. I may consider giving her like an... Goodness, here, get out of my eyes. I may consider giving her a... Uh, or not her, but uh, the three-eyed dragon, something else as well, instead of only three eyes. But maybe only three eyes. We'll see how I'm feeling. And, you know, what the dragon asks for. Like with Skitters, she asked for uh, six legs, for example. And, uh, let's see, it was Sapphire that asked for two tails. You know, if the dragon asks me for something specific and it's like, you know, I think that's fairly possible with chain mail, so uh, let's give it a swing. Then I'll see if I can grant the dragon's wishes. You want six legs? Oh yeah, we'll get you six legs. Ooh, that reminds me on my uh, Twitch profile. I should put a link to the uh, entire dragon family. I have uh, photos and the uh, adoption papers. All of my dragons come with adoption papers. Or an adoption scroll that uh, says their backstory and yeah, their papers. So I have all of those uh, listed on uh, my website, Planet Zebeth. It's my blog slash webcomic. I'm the uh, author of the webcomic Planet Zebeth, also known as Cabotroid on there. And yeah, all of my dragons are listed there, so if you were ever curious about the names of any of them or such, then you can just zip on over there and check them out. But yeah, I'll post a link. in the profile and once I'm done with the stream or if someone asks for it specifically come on come on I suppose I can type it into the chat so that it shows up on screen two seconds here
I apologize, it's a bit of a long uh, address here. Bloop! There you go. So uh, check out that address, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to see all of the uh, dragons and their adoption papers there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to continue to fight to get these eyes in, which are not linking up the way that I wanted them to, which is unfortunate. I'm sorry, dragon. You're taking just a shade longer to make than I had anticipated. Or to make, yeah, all that too, but to get your eyes in. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to link that the way that I had initially hoped. A minor nuisance. Minor nuisance, minor nuisance, that's a terrible song to sing. <laughs> the song about minor nuisances, that, that doesn't sound pleasant at all. <laughs> I don't like that connection. Also, that's a little bit close to the neck. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe, maybe. I may have found a good way of connecting the eyes here. Again, this part is also kind of uh, inexact. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. You can see the one shiny ring towards the top there, off to the side. And now we'll get its counterpart on the other side. Okay, this ring we're going to have to open up the uh, opposite way. Like, uh, just uh, when you order rings from the Ring Lord, at least specifically, they all come, you know, coiled in the same direction, which means that they all open, or are open, sort of, in the same direction. And so this one needs to be done in the opposite way to actually get it to easily, you know, fit through the rings the way that I want them to. So we just need to do a minor adjustment with that. And then with any luck, you won't put up, like, three hours of fight, of which it is certainly trying right now. Please stop fighting. Oh goodness, I am sorry, Dragon. You are being... your eye... your eye is being so stubborn right now. Of course, when you're working inside of tight spots, that tends to happen. There you go! Just needed to be open half a millimeter more. Woo! And Dragon has her eyes. Mm. Okay, she actually wants the eyes moved up a little bit further on the head. They're uh, kind of close to the center of the head, so to speak. They're closer than I'd like. And closer than she'd like, too. Like, she's actually willing to go through the extra effort here. So I am sorry. We are going to... Uh, valiant effort. Valiant effort. But we're going to move those just up one segment of the weave. So we're going to connect you here, and here. Come on. Don't you put up a fight now. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Now side two, or one as it was. Okay, now we need to get you underneath this ring. 
and kind of slither up over into that gap right there. Come on, just just half a millimeter more. Oh, that feeling. And you can see the edge of the ring, like just asking to go through the place that you're trying to put it through. And it's like, whoop, nope, not gonna do it today. All right now. You can have to fight with me for another five minutes. It's like goring. Don't be like that. No. Oh, there we go. You just about jumped there. I am sorry. Woo! Awesome. She is happy with those eyes, so that's awesome. You can see the shininess there. So let's just take this in so that it's uh, actually visible as well. Woo! And the dragon's name is Charlene. And the dragon's name is Charlene. Your name is Charlene. That's the dragon's name. So this is what I like to call a greater dragon's name. Yeah, one of the things of uh, black and steel, like I said, uh, the rings are all slightly uh, warped in a way. So I need to kind of go and uh, modify every single one of them just a little bit, give them an extra squeeze laterally before I close them. And it's, oh, a mild nuisance. I wish the rings wouldn't do this when they turn them this color, but oh goodness, is it a gorgeous color. Oh, one of the intricacies of making chain mail, or at least using these exact particular rings. I was gonna say I'm kind of or thinking about it. I'm almost a bit surprised that the uh, like the ring lord doesn't uh, blacken the coils and then she can uh, cut the uh, magic users. Uh, normally they can only you know just uh, cast it themselves and such. Only uh, I picked a class where I can uh, take my magic and put it into a bottle. It still takes one of my spell slots while it's inside of the bottle, but uh, that means that say like a uh, like a battler, a sword swinger, or a bushi as they're called. Uh, the ones that normally can't do magic, I can be all like, well hey, here you go, just uh, use this potion here, either drink it if it's a good potion, like a health potion or something, or defense, or if it's an attack potion, throw it at the enemy, and then it'll do its thing. Then it'll be like, you cast magic. And then I get my spell slot back. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of fun. Okay, so we've opened and closed a lot of rings here. So now let's uh, well, get a work holder out to make things a little bit easier. And now we slide four closed rings onto an open one. Then we'll close that open ring and add another open ring. <laughs> one kind of fun way that I like to describe chain mail to people, you take one ring and you connect it to another ring. Then you do that a hundred thousand times. <laughs> hmm. You know, it'd take a really big project to actually reach 100,000 rings, but I've made a few t-shirts in the past, and those tend to be about 60 or so thousand apiece from what I've read. It's not like I counted. But uh, at this point, I've done well, well over 100,000 rings. <laughs> Just throughout, you know, all of my projects. The dragons themselves are, uh, again, I haven't really counted, and it may be slightly different from one to the next. Probably not more than 10 rings difference tops. 
but uh, each dragon is somewhere around 300 to 320 rings. Like like I said, I didn't I haven't actually done an exact count of them. Like they're all 18 scale ring or 18 scale dragons, except for a few of the uh, rare uh, unusual dragons that have either more or less scales. Uh, their tails aren't an exact length either. They're just kind of like, hey, let's hold you up against this other dragon and see how close you are. I kind of like the fact that uh, none of my dragons are really, you know, exact, exact, this, uh, the same. Uh, the heads tend to be more or less identical. Uh, the neck connections, there may be some extra rings added into there, maybe not, kind of depends how the weave is treating me that day. But yeah, like I said, they're probably not going to be more than about five or six rings off from each other. Kind of makes me want to do like an exact count of one of the dragons. Okay, well Ingrid and Frey here is going to have a lot more because she has two heads. So I can't really use her as a good comparison. <laughs> but uh, any of the others, really. Oh, this ring was really warped. <sighs> Unfortunate. Just means I have to play with the ring a little bit more in order to get it to close properly. Oh, sorry, next lately. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're at the joint of the leg now, and that will just require a little bit more. Ever so slight difference. Uh, the legs of the dragons, they have a Byzantine connection for the knee, and yeah, that's how that works. And random fun fact, my spider dragon Hazel, because uh, most spiders that I've seen tend to have a longer bottom of the leg then top of the leg. Although I suppose in humans it's, you know, approximately even one way or the other. Sorry, straightening up my legs a little. It's uh, approximately the same, but anyways. So uh, the hazel is just a little bit different because she's a spider dragon. So yeah, there you go, random fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> It would really be nice if I had a proper uh, like chain mailing table and such. I'm just kind of sitting on the ground with my uh, bedroll as my backrest here. Kind of one of the downsides of the uh, minimalist uh, kind of existence that I have right now. It would be nice to get, you know, nice efficient furniture and such, but monies. So again, after becoming a health carry, I can see a lot of things in my life being upgraded. Right now, it's pretty much just survival mode. And that got me through the year. And 
just uh, due to my kind of, you know, filling out paperwork and looking around and stuff. Uh, there's uh, Manitoba Employment uh, where I'm at. They're actually paying for 80% of the uh, cost of college for me. So that's going to be all kinds of uh, awesome because college is, you know, ungodly expensive. So I'm only going to be ending up paying about $1,500 for all of college, which is amazing and just about the only reason that I'm uh, going. <laughs> uh, trying to pay off $8,000 on my own, that would take me ages. I've done it in the past to be fair, but you know it took me what six, seven years or something like that. That's when I was in university and uh, you know I didn't really uh, find what I wanted to do for a living there. Like I started as an uh, engineer and uh, only got into mechanical engineering, which I just didn't have a desire to follow. So I tried swapping to computer science because I actually wanted to go into computer engineering. And uh, yeah, I ended up just not really liking the idea of being a programmer for the rest of my life. So uh, since then, I may as well kind of prattle on about my life story just slightly just because. <laughs> Uh, since then, I've been uh, more or less working in call centers or other office work as a customs broker for seven years, actually, which I really, really enjoyed, but uh, ended up being laid off after uh, one company bought out ours and then immediately laid everyone off. So that part was pretty painful. I did really like that job, though. I've applied to another one in the city. I just kind of have uh, throughout the past while, but haven't been picked up by any since few interviews, but uh, no placement anywhere. And uh, let's see, I was a plumber for about uh, six months, which uh, was very difficult, but uh, some, you know, mostly enjoyable. But uh, again, I was laid off from that, which wasn't fun, obviously. Which is more or less, unfortunately, the story of my uh, employment history is laid off, laid off or outsourced. That's how it is, unfortunately. But uh, healthcare, I think that'll be a lot more stable because, you know, aging population and all that. And then just with more people, a growing population, more people are going to get injured because, you know, they're playing sports or whatever else and some, you know, painful thing. Oh, we're done one leg, by the way. Yay! Check it out. You've almost got, or you've got one of your legs ready. And now let's get the others. Let's get... Okay, so that was uh, just about 15 minutes to make that leg, so that's not too, too bad. <laughs> just about on par with uh, when I was uh, doing, like, literally one drag in a day. That was for a uh, somewhat short period of time. It's actually really hard on the hands. I probably should have kept on going because I was trying to make a business live streaming. I may again in the future, but... Again, chain mailing for four hours a day, that's that's hard on the hands. Maybe when I was a lot younger, but you know, nearly 40 now. Also don't really want to, well, for lack of a kinder way of putting it, wreck my hands for old age. So ideally, if I'm uh, making a business live streaming, which all things hoping I will in the future, uh, and then the last year in general for me has just been awful. I'll avoid prattling on about that part. That's kind of a uh, rough period of my life. To give you a short synopsis, though, I was homeless for a few times. Uh, yeah, laid off of a few other jobs. Kind of had a spiritual crashing, so to speak. I'm still spiritual, don't get me wrong, but there was issues in the past. It was a year of destruction of my life, so to speak. Business failed, spirituality, badness, lost some friends. It was a year of loss. Okay, enough of that subject. That's a boring one. Blah, 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 blah. Better stuff now. Woo! Oh, goodness. I'm all hunched down here. Let's, let's try to adjust my legs again so that I'm kind of sitting up again. There we go. A little bit better. Sorry about that. Again, without actually having a chair or anything, it's... Kind of come see, come see how I can uh, sit down here. 
song. I've got to get better at it. I just listened to it uh, before the stream and kind of did a practice run or two with it. I really need to do that more often, but mm, I've got to do that more often. I guess it's kind of hard to find the motivation to like learn songs when I don't even get to like sing for people, so to speak. I get to sing on live stream, so you know, I may be practicing a little bit more the more that I live stream. So hey, there's that. So let's just kind of uh, spill a handful of them here. We're going to need about, let's see, 27 times 2, 54 of them here. And we'll start with that for now. And for the rest of you, my chain link kiss. Oh goodness. And of course, we're going to pour silly. And get into other ring slots. I apologize for hunting over here. Give me two moments. There we go. Woo! And with that, our 3 16 inch 18 gauge of black and steel ring supply is refilled for the moment. Doopa doopa doop doopa doop doop doop. Doopa doopa doop doopa doop 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 doop. I should be wearing my ring tool. It lets me kind of uh, open and close rings just a little bit better. All oh, right, that's why I wasn't bothering, because I need to do the extra manipulation of kind of tweezing the ring ever so slightly more open and close to 
take into account that slight warpage. Okay, so let's actually try and count this out here. Let's see, if I'm not mistaken, one ring is 27. Let's see. Trying to remember exactly how many open rings to how many closed rings I need. I used to have that figured out. I think it's 15 open, I want to say. So let's try making 30 open rings. No, there's more open than closed. So that's probably 15 closed then. And so let's see, 30. No, well, that's over half. Maybe it is uh, 30 open rings. We'll try it. We'll try it. You can always modify it. Okay, so there's our closed rings. Let's get uh, 30 open rings here. And then we'll just close the rest and, you know, see how it goes. a grouping of five. You stay separate. We'll do them in groupings of five here. Ooh, here's a song for you. exact right number of open rings and closed rings to make two legs. Then we'll need one more ring, which I may clip down to five. Oh no, wait, wait. It's 316 Sonola dragons. Random fun fact. Every single dragon begins with a uh, quarter inch ring and ends with a 316 inch ring. First one to start their body, unless you count the scale as the uh, first ring, but that's a scale, not a ring. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then the final ring attaches the clasp to their dragon. Yeah, you're going to be getting your clasp soon, Charlene. Okay, so we've got two legs. We need two more. We have a whole pile of pre-closed rings. We have a whole ever so slightly larger pile of pre-open rings. Let's get her done. <laughs> A little bit of the prairies coming out. And uh, rebuilding now. So yeah, unfortunately I lost a lot of like previous pictures and settings and the setup of everything and oh goodness it takes ages to set things up the way that you like them. Oh well, say la vie and all that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a uh, like a title picture up at some point or another. I think the uh, kind of tagline of that is uh, once again going to be a window into my life. So I like to think of the live stream as that basically kind of a window into my room, 
And uh, yeah, you get to see a little corner of my life and a little bit in the mirror over there so you can see my calendar up there. Uh, yeah, that, that's my calendar. Fun fact about Metroid, there's a Twitch stream called uh, Twitch Plays Metroid, where uh, if you're familiar with Twitch Plays Pokemon, it, uh, like, the people inside of the chat submit commands, and then it's, uh, sent to the game, and, uh, the game, like, follows the commands of everyone inside of the chat room. So, like, you type up, then, uh, like, the up button is pushed on the direction pad, so to speak, and, uh, so on and so forth like that. And there's uh, about a two-second delay. It's going to be different from person to person, depending on their uh, upstream, upstream, depending on their uh, leg and everything. But uh, yeah, basically everyone can submit commands, and the goal is basically try to finish Metroid. And if you've ever played Super Metroid, it's a rather complicated game with like, you know, there's spin jumping and space jumping and dash commands and different beams and all that type of such and enemy or like boss fights and such, but they did it. They still managed to beat the game. Uh, right now, I believe they were working on a series. Like, uh, apparently at the very start, they uh, just kind of uh, had Samus start from when she landed on Zebes. And uh, because, I don't know, they were having... I'm not entirely sure they didn't go into it uh, when I last asked there. But they didn't do the main series space station at the very, very, very start of the game initially. So uh, they're doing that now, unless they've already finished. I kind of hope so. The whole thing is, like, you wander into this abandoned space station, then Ridley shows up because, uh, you know, he's chilling there and uh, stealing the baby Metroid. And then you have 30 seconds to escape. And I can see why it's really difficult to get that to happen in 30 seconds. Kind of tempted to go and wander over to the channel just while I'm live streaming and see how it's going there. I think I may do that actually, so uh, please forgive the extra stuff happening. You may hear Metroid music in a few moments. Apologies for that. Let's do something distracting. Let's do something distracting. Okay, so let's get ready to mute this because uh, odds are we're going to be hearing so. Well, like I said, unless they finish, then we won't hear a thing. Oh, they're still live. And what are you doing right now? Oh goodness, am I watching them literally finish right now? I'm sorry, just give me two moments here. I think I need to uh, type to the chat. Oh, no, 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 never mind. They're not just finishing the... Uh, uh, they're at the very start again. Oh. Because again, you only have 30 some odd seconds. Okay, well, apparently they're still working on that part, so that's still happening. <laughs> Alright, well, good to know. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Oh, I should be using this keyboard, I apologize. Now I have to go over here and scroll over here. Scroll down over here. And go like this, and go like this. 
go like this. This kind of only works mediocrely. But I don't have a dual monitor system, unfortunately. It would be wonderful if I had two monitors. But uh, work with what you got type of deal. Doop a doop a doop. Noop a doop a doop. Doop a doop a doop. Doop a doop doop. So yeah, sorry about that uh, kind of distraction from uh, the chain mailing there. I was just really curious as to see how Twitch Plays Metroid was doing or if they had finished it yet. But it looks like they're still working on the series Space Station. Uh, probably after I'm done my stream I'll go wander back over there and, you know, cheer them on and such. And we're just about done with of disclosure. <laughs> Dragon of Applesauce? <laughs> oh, you should uh, see some of the things that I have in my dragon book there. Just because I have a minute, let's open up a page or two just for funsies. Let's see here. Uh, is that going to be right side up and uh, readable? It's that backwards thing again. Okay, sorry, let me try and... Uh, flip. Oh, goodness, so this is all off here. Okay, well. Let's just kind of go like this. I really don't like the fact that that's backwards. I apologize, I have no clue why it's like that to begin with. Do you even have the option to flip it that way? I honestly don't think so. I can rotate it around. Yeah, it's even less readable. Well, this is a nuisance. I can't show the camera things. Don't mind me, I'm going to mess with this for a minute. Look, look. Right side up, but backwards. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aha! Ah! Ha! We have it. Whoa. Okay, so that'll stay that way from now on. And while I'm there, Let's just kind of whoop, go over to this view. Oh, hey, that's awesome. So there you go. Dragon of Worship, Dragon of Prayer, Dragon of Wishes. Two dragons kind of connected in the middle. That'll take a while, a little dragon with a penis. Feel of the song, but for just starting out there, yeah, it doesn't doesn't work quite as well, I don't think. Okay, and the number of rings that we opened and closed is looking fairly good, I think. I may have actually gotten the right number here. Oh goodness, I uh, went in uh, Mobius these two rings inside of here. You don't want a twisted knee, that would be painful. Oh, and my friend Mark has a sore knee. Good old Mark, let be with you. Um, 
Yeah, I've been hanging around. I, I got to see him again like a few days ago. We just kind of went out for uh, dinner and, you know, chatted it up and stuff and talked about astrology and numerology a little bit. And he's really into that, so it was uh, kind of interesting. And, you know, I've just kind of uh, become spiritual in the past year, so, you know, I'm just kind of accepting a little bit of, okay, let's get some information from this uh, style of thought and uh, let's get some from this category of thought and, and just kind of piece together what uh, works best for me. Okay, I think this is going to turn out to be the exact right number of rings, so it looks like I remembered it properly. It's uh, 15 open rings to 12 closed rings for every single leg. And we are just about done our fourth leg. And then Charlene here will get to have her legs installed. And you've got to finish telling me what your uh, what type of dragon you are. You get the dragon of good books. Like, you know when you get a really good book that you want to reread over and over again? The dragon of that. Yeah, I know, that's not in my book, but this dragon wasn't from my book initially, so it might be an entirely new personality. The dragon of journey, like travel, the dragon of travel. You may be that. That that has a nicer ring to it. That sounds right. <laughs> okay, so your legs are just about. Your legs are done now. So we are just got to go and attach them now. Awesome! You're just about to become a full dragon. And uh, maybe on live stream as well, like, uh, you know, while I'm streaming. I think I might, uh, if I feel like it, I may have to uh, pause the live stream since I'll probably want to go and wash the, uh, you know, chainmail dust off of my hands. Oh goodness, which I'm probably getting on my hair and on my skin right now. Oh, this hair. As I was saying, I uh, actually write the adoption papers uh, like live on screen as well. So I may consider doing that. Doop -a -doop -a -doop, doop -a -doop -doop -doop. Oh goodness, get back here. Doop -doop -doop. Oh, please tell me that ring didn't slide out. Dropping a piece when you have an open ring, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's hold, try holding you with the Xeron pliers here. These have kind of like a little hook on the end of them, which really kind of gris, uh, grasps the ring well. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -doop -a -doop -doop -doop. And the arm rings go through an eyelet of the side of the dragon body. The first one is always just a little bit more difficult to get because we got to work around these uh, shoulder scales. But I think we got this one good. Come on. Come on, you.
Sorry about the quiet here, I'm kind of concentrating. And now I'm clicking. <laughs> Click tunes, I kind of like to call that. Doop 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. <laughs> okay, other arm ring goes through this eyelet. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me actually double check here. I gotta find one that has uh, the what do you call it? Uh, interwoven four in one. Oh, song staff. Hello, you. Oh, sorry, didn't notice you come in. Welcome to the channel. Mm. Oh, goodness. Trying to adjust the screen so that I can see things properly here. Okay, there we go. Now I've got things lined up properly. Sorry about that. Welcome, song staff. Song staff. I love you. Welcome to to the channel once again. And uh, right now, well, we finished our dragon named Charlene. Well, not quite finished. We've got all of her legs built. Oh, how's your homework coming along? Hope I'm not too distracting from it. Or maybe my singing will help with the homework. Let's let's hope for that side. Ooh, I could offer you my blessing. I hope you double in your homework song staff. Kuro. Life be with you. Well, I'm going to have plenty of homework of my own uh, come the end of the month once I start college for health care aid. And oh, that's going to be. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, when I was kind of in the process of digging around here. Uh, I need to find a dragon, specifically with the uh, newer style um, uh, interwoven 4-in-1 belly. So I need to find either Midnight or Charlotte. Ooh, Midnight, he'll do. And I just want to double check how I have the arms attached. And just uh, see that I have it the same from one dragon to the next here. So let's see, we got that, we got that. Through the eyelet there, through the eyelet there, through the eyelet there, through the eyelet there. I think we got her. I think we got her. Yep. Whoa! Thank you, Midnight. You can go back into the dragon pile. Oh, goodness. Oh, <laughs> 
Sorry, I'm not really doing any full songs right now. A few video game themes here and there, but uh, my mind's kind of bouncing around a little bit as I'm uh, just finishing up our dragon. My singing tends to do this when I'm right at the very end of the dragon. Because I'm not like doing the same repetitive task over and over again of, okay, now it's going to take like 15 minutes to make a single leg type of thing. Now it's like, ooh, okay, all of the pieces are coming together here, so we got to bounce from here to here, and here to here, and here to here. Now you get the idea. Oh goodness, that isn't uh, connected quite right. Something's, something's off with that back leg. Midnight, come back here. <laughs> ah, that was a uh, song step. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was Metroid again. I think the song just kind of repeats uh, like the uh, low part to high part over and over again there. I'm not 100% certain. I've watched enough uh, Zelda randomizer races that you'd think I would have that long since memorized by now. Okay, so that's how I have the legs uh, attached here. I need to kind of inspect them a little bit differently with the interwoven 4-in-1 because I'm uh, still kind of used to doing it with the, uh, whatchamacallit, Persian dragon, st dragon scale style of back weave. But uh, that's been changed for the past few dragons. And I haven't quite memorized the new method of attaching the legs. So the first ring of the leg needs to be attached above this scale, like the very last scale. And then the other one just below the very last scale. So thank you, Midnight, for allowing me to inspect your weave here. Speaking of, how are we doing this here? Okay, once again through the eye of the uh, edge of the weave. So, loop. Through here and through here should be... Oh, goodness you. Okay, something doesn't seem quite right here. What's going on? Come on. Okay, we've got one ring on here. And we need to go like this. So much for it going all fast and stuff between the legs. <laughs> Let's just kind of do a quick little inspect inspect here. Okay, so we're up against that, we're up against that, we've got that there, we've got that there, we've got that there, we've got that there. Beautiful! Okay, thank you, Midnight. You've been wonderful again. Did you want to chill here just in case? I'm going to need you again. Last leg! Woo! You know, I think you are the Dragon of Journey. The dragon of Travel, or the Dragon of Journey, who loves to travel. Whether it's going on a road trip, or going on a flight, or seeing a new city, or seeing some prairies. Just seeing new sights, traveling around, that's what this dragon loves to do. Just see as much as she can, and travel as far as she can. 
The more miles that she can put behind her, the better. There we go, and your last leg is attached. Oh, awesome! So we now have a full dragon, but it takes one more 3 16 inch ring to attach the final clasp, which gives our dragons their ability to fly. So very, very, very soon, you will be a flying dragon. Awesome! Oop, although I do need to adjust that ring just slightly because it's got that uh, ovaling type of thing happening. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlene. We're going to remove this ring for just one second here so that this ring isn't as scritchy on you. Otherwise, it'll just be kind of irritating. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to scratch the uh, underside of the bottom scale if I leave it like that. We'll see if we can do it without actually removing it. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a good class there. Awesome! Charlene is done! Oh. Our pink and purple striped dragon, doesn't she look amazing? Let's get the light. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that striping. She looks fabulous. Ah. The dragon of journey. Awesome! Okay, so she's done, but... We still have one more part to finish with this. Actually, we have a few. So uh, we're going to do the, uh, just, oh goodness, I need to wash my hands for the rest of it, though, because uh, the rest of it we're going to be writing on paper. We need to write her adoption papers and as well get her her name tag made. So I'm going to leave the stream for just uh, like five minutes here. So give me five minutes and I'll be back. So, uh, sorry, song staff. Uh, yeah, just kind of keep the channel open or something. And I need to wash my hands and uh, get my paper to uh, write up some adoption papers. And then we'll uh, get this dragon up and running. So, cool, I'll be with you. And I'll uh, see you in a few minutes. <laughs> so, hello again. Sorry about the uh, minor delay there, but uh, Charlene here needs her name tag and adoption papers and such. So let's get started to write on that right now. I've got my uh, dragon pouch here. It's a silk bag that I picked up from a store called Shakti. Hello again, Songstaff! So what we're going to need from here is, uh, actually I can kind of show you generally all of the supplies inside of here. So here's a pen, which we're going to need actually. Oh, and some uh, silk fibers because the bag is... I'd like to get a new one that it's not the best made on earth. <laughs> uh, here's some extra of the uh, specific type of embroidery thread that I use. Uh, this is a cloth or uh, shirt yarn that I use to uh, roll up the uh, scroll once it's done. Scissors. Oh, here's a few spare parts of dragons so that I know how to make them. Here's a sample of elf weave. And here is a uh, sample leg. Just I need to make a sample of the rest of the parts of the dragon just so I have them available. You know, in case I should ever forget how to make a dragon. And I don't know why I can't just look at my other literally basket of dragons here. Let's see, which one are you? Fixin! The dragon of speed! Ooh, that means we should hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so first up, we need to uh, write your name and your birthday on your on a little name tag here. So let's get started on that. Whoop. Charlene, and what is today's date? April 6th. Ooh. Okay, oh, I was going to try to write it on this binder. Well, that still works. Sorry, dragon underneath there. <laughs> Sorry, Charlene. Let's see, April 6th, 2018. There we go. And now we just kind of cut this off here. Whoop. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. This part is kind of a little bit uh, come see, come say how uh, well it works. I like have the little strips of paper kind of elastic around a little uh, stick for lack of a better anything. A dowel essentially to wrap it around and this kind of keeps it onto there but a bit of a mediocre system for the name tags. Wish I could come up with a better one but nothing else has popped into mind just yet. So this will do for now. Oop. And that can go back in there. And now we need embroidery thread. Oh, come on, get through the needle. It's a fairly large eye in this needle. It's an embroidery needle. So it only needs to be sharp enough to poke through this uh, paper, which yeah, it did without uh, much problem. Surprise. <laughs> And that's really all that we need the needle portion for. And now we just kind of tie this around your neck here. Just get it around those shoulder scales. Uh, it still counts as the neck. Dragons, they have a different anatomy than us. <laughs> and then we tie this into a square knot because that's nice and uh, doesn't come undone very easily. Tying a square knot with this is a little bit trickety at times. Especially with embroidery thread since it likes to kind of uh, separate apart the like individual strands of it. And there we go. Whoa! And Charlene has her name tag. I'm just going to trim off the spool, we'll trim off the excess tip. And ignore that, I'm just bringing that up. Theme from Fusion. Ooh, that is a good question, Song Staff. I actually haven't watched Fusion all that much. Uh, kind of sad to say that's actually my least favorite Metroid game. Well, aside from Other M, but uh, I never really played that one all that much for like... Okay, I played it for a few hours, and I really didn't like the control system of it. Like, you know, story aside, I, I didn't like the controls of it either. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just, uh, I guess it would be my second least favorite. Sorry about that. Gotta be honest. But, uh, no, I don't really have a uh, favorite theme from it. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't really played either that one or uh, most of the Metroid games enough to have memorized any of the, like, specific songs. Like, uh, from, say, Metroid uh, Prime, uh, the Fendrana Drifts comes to mind, but I don't know if I'd even be able to sing that all, at all. Uh, now I'd have to, like, literally listen to it again. The only reason that I know Metroid uh, songs so well is because I've, like, literally put hundreds of hours into that game. <laughs> Played it over so many times just uh, growing up. Um, okay, Charlene. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we need to make your adoption scroll. So you can go and sit. Oh, are you visible over here? You're visible over here. You can go sit there. OK, 
care how you're going to slide off. It's slippery material. And let's see, if we need a binder to write on. This is a picture of, uh, oh, there you go. Um, which one was this? Chantel, the winged dragon. She's the dragon of spirituality. Just by her photo was on a uh, divination like her eating. Oh, unfortunately I needed to be angled like that so that I can write on it properly. I don't like how this, uh, how the stone in this uh, particular reading looks. Like it kind of has an angry look to it, just the angle that I, where is the stone? The way that I took a picture of it, but uh, that's just how it turned out unfortunately. Yeah well, might have had to have something to do with last year. My favorite Metroid game actually is uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, like for the Game Boy. That's the only uh, Metroid game that's actually, honestly, like, surprised me with the appearance of a Metroid. In most other Metroid games, it's like, oh, okay, here's the Metroid section. Oh, it broke another glass, or, oh, surprise, there's one over here. But uh, with Metroid 2, it's like, oh, holy crap, there's one around the corner here. Or running down a hallway, what, what are you doing here? I didn't even see an egg. <laughs> uh, Metroid 2 is by far my favorite. And the spider ball, a properly used spider ball. Where you can literally climb on any surface. Never mind Metroid Prime, where it's like, oh, you can only use Spider Ball in certain places. And, uh, they, they ruined Spider Ball in that one. Anywho's, let's get some adoption papers written. And the adoption papers are more or less just kind of, uh, wah, wah. <laughs> sad trombone. Just uh, noticed that line, sorry. Is your uh, text showing up on screen, actually? I haven't been noticing that, and I really hope that it is. I might be looking up uh, kind of after 15 seconds. It isn't showing up! Oh goodness, what now? I am so sorry, Stone Staff. Uh, normally our chat uh, text is supposed to be showing up on screen, and for some bizarre reason it isn't. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm just going to ignore that for now. I do apologize. We can work to earlier. Ah, oh, fighting with live stream. Oh, I actually have not played uh, AM2R yet. Um, uh, more so just because I haven't really played any video games for a fairly long time now. Like a few Intellivision games on an emulator on my cell phone, but yeah, I honestly haven't really taken the time to like play any video games really. It's just it hasn't been a drive of mine lately, so sorry, no, I actually haven't. I've watched a little bit, but uh, that's about it. Okay, sorry, uh, let's get some adoption paper in here. This is... This is Charlene. Let's uh, kind of mix up this screen here a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better. And I'll just kind of rotate you around a little bit. Bloop, bloop. Oh, that, uh, that certainly did something there. All right, let's, let's just kind of play around. There you go. <laughs> Okay, let's just kind of adjust this a little. There we go. Sorry, it's going to be a bit quiet here now. Charlene is the dragon of journey. She loves to travel. Seeing new sights and cities.
Oh, thank you. I try to make it uh, neat for this here. Hmm, how best to wear this here. So I'm going to write it down and then read it just to, uh, you know, keep it in my head and get it onto paper. It's hard to write and talk and read at the same time, so to speak. Never want to pass up an opportunity to take a guided tour. She loves seeing the nuances of uh, the places that she visits. Nuances, is that the word that I'm looking for? Give me two seconds to uh, do some quick Google searching here. Just gonna look this up to see if I'm using the right word. Okay, nuances isn't the uh, word that I'm looking for there. Okay, she loves seeing the highlights. Oh, you forgot to take your multivitamins? Oh, boo. Is it too late to take them now in the day? No, it's been ages since I've taken... Okay, I did take uh, some multivitamins uh, earlier in the year, but I ran out and money is just I wish I could have a better explanation than that but that's how it is but uh huh I've actually uh just kind of thinking of uh, multivitamins and such like hey what kind of gives me energy so to say and such I used to have caffeine in the mornings but I've actually cut caffeine out of my diet more or less entirely now and uh I'm doing surprisingly well I think so yeah whoa off caffeine <laughs> Okay, so never want to pass up an opportunity to take a guided tour. She loves seeing the, what would be a good word be for this? The highlights of a city, the focal points of a city. She loves seeing the hot spots, the... Need a better word for highlights. Okay. Hey, you can take one now then. And they're like gummy candy, which is always awesome. An opportunity to take a guided tour. She's being sure. No, she loves seeing the. I think we're gonna go with highlights. She loves seeing the highlights of the place. Oh, that's a good one. Thank you, song staff. She loves seeing the hidden pearls of the places that she visits. I don't want to say just cities, but the places that she visits. Thank you, song staff. Oh, that's wonderful. I think we'll go with cities. Like, say, a prairie field, that doesn't really have hidden pearls. So it may, but uh, yeah, I think hidden pearls tend to be more of a city thing. Thank you.
Her camera is never far from her. And she has albums filled with the photos of the places, of used places that she visits too often. And she has albums filled with the wonderful sights that she's seen. Okay, that might almost be long enough, and then feel free to rename her. Maybe one more sentence. Maybe something about when not traveling, she loves poring over travelogues. Is that the word that I'm looking for? It has the word travel in it too much. When not, maybe another word for traveling. <laughs> Her passport would be filled with stamps. Actually has to replace it before it actually needs to be replaced by time. Ooh. <laughs> she has seen. What's another word for travel? When not gallivanting about. When back at home, yeah, something like that. When back at home, she loves perusing travel logs, looking for her next destination something. Let's see, think of this. When back at home, hmm, after returning home, when back at home, when stuck at home, That might be good. And looking for her next destination. Oh, thank you, song staff. Oh, you're wonderful again. I'm going to use that. Thank you. Woo, teamwork. High five. <laughs> oh, I have my pen in my hand. Ah, there we go. <laughs> When not journeying, she loves reading about faraway places looking for her next destination. And now, of course, the uh, end part that's more or less the same for all of my dragons. Feel free to rename her if you like. <laughs> And what? Enjoy the tales of travel she will recount with you. I don't like the end of that. 
and enjoy the tales of travel that she will start with that. A bit risky kind of starting a sentence. <laughs> Which she will maybe excitedly tell you about. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Oh. And of course, the very end, P.S. This scroll is waterproof. Elf Sigur, or Allie, not Pona, <laughs> Naughty Pona, not Pona. That's awesome. Thank you, Song Staff. You're awesome. <laughs> I love you. P.S. This scroll is waterproof. Because it is. And then, of course, uh, every scroll gets a uh, kind of swirly design, sort of like how uh, the ponies in My Little Pony have their own cutie mark. So do I. <laughs> uh, the scroll gets one as well, which can be seen as the dragon's uh, mark. Oh, goodness, we need to sign the dragon as well. I need to scratch my initials onto the back of her. Oh, so we will do that in a minute. So I like to kind of rotate the page all over the place when I'm doing the uh, design here. Try and keep it on screen for you. Hmm. I think right about there. Hmm. Um, uh, I got it from a few places over time, but uh, the place that I found that sells waterproof paper is called ABC Fire Safety. And uh, like it used to be fairly inexpensive, but then the price just skyrocketed. So I'm glad that I picked up like a few large packs of it when I did. I have uh, a bit more, but uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do once I run out. I'll probably suck it up and buy some more at some point or another. But uh, it'll be uh, at least a fair while, provided I don't make mistakes on it. <laughs> okay, so if it's rolled up like this, then on the back of here I need to write the name. And the birthday on here as well. And her adoption scroll is finished. So I'm going to avoid rolling it up right now just because I need to, uh, you know, arrange like the way to take a picture of it and then arrange the dragon on the paper. And I'm also going to have to uh, take a picture of the dragon on something or another that uh, indicates uh, journey and travel. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for that just yet. Oop, although I should uh, leave my scissors out and the cloth to roll it up here. Huh. But uh, I think we're about done live streaming for tonight. Oh goodness, it's already 11 p.m. 
Uh, this was wonderful. Thank you so much for being with me, song staff. You got to see the uh, writing of the adoption paper and the finishing of whoop, or dragging here, Charlene. Oh. So uh, that's all kinds of awesome. And uh, yeah, next live stream will be starting on a brand new dragon, the second one that the person had asked for with the uh, flamingo colors. So I'll have to do a little bit of research uh, before then and uh, figure out uh, what pattern I want to make out of 18 scales. So uh, I'll see you later, song staff. Thank you again for being here. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>